Uh, the next one is Cuban. I assume it would be pronounced. Uh, this is a Tron-style 3D platformer. Uh, it's very cyberpunk. And by cyberpunk, I mean, like, digital cubes, which is not cyberpunk at all. Um, it's very Tron. They have, they got that part down, for sure. Uh, light up all cubes in a level by touching them from any side. So, it's, I guess it's a little bit of a puzzle platformer, maybe? I hope. That seems like the kind of mechanic that should feed into puzzle. Like, maybe it could be precision as well, but... A precision puzzle platformer, that's... that sounds terrifying, actually. Now that I expressed that idea, I have 30 minutes left in the demo version. <laughs> Let's play the tutorial. Great. <laughs> Great. There's a time, it's- oh, it's down in the bottom. <clears throat> Excellent. Camera's pretty slow. Perfect. I don't have, like, a double jump or anything. Okay, what does this power up do? Alt, up tempo. Press 2 to activate up tempo mode. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing a bit of intelligent cube as well. Use guard to escape enemy fire. I have no air control. Just, just no air control. So that's like a little dangerous. Superior. Psst, superior. Touch the cube. Yeah, I, I, re I remember Intelligent Cube and, like, kind of miss it. So you don't get a lot of time on many of these levels, I'm guessing. Because like touching a cube gets you twenty sec gets you two seconds back. Yeah, we started with like nothing. I fell. Light bomb. Okay. And then up tempo for the distance. Excellent. Okay, there's like interesting ideas in here. It's a lot of levels. Very generic man.
I can't go much faster than this. With the gear that I have, this is this is max speed. Brilliant. Actually, very simple. <laughs> don't don't be calling that brilliant. Yeah, with, with no air control, like, at all, uh, makes you kind of nervous about taking jumps. Three cubes left. One cube left. Great. Like, that, that's the one thing that I want out of this more than anything. Give me air control. I just, like, game settings. Mouse sensitivity up. That feels a lot better. Feels a lot better. Whoop. I got greedy. I got greedy. Ba boom Three cubes left. One cube left. Great. Great. <laughs> the the voice is like the the perfect level of disinterested. <laughs> like outstanding. Twenty five. Like what does what does that mean? What did I just do to time? Three cubes left. I think I slowed down time. Great. And I guess when those hit zero, like they they fall, they don't count anymore. I would guess. I jumped too early. I can almost imagine trying to speedrun this, and it would be very frustrating. Because of the lack of air control. Bah! I mean, it's being a run killer right now, and I'm not even speedrunning. I'm just like trying to deal with these spinny cubes. There we go. Big spinny cube. Bah. And of course, no checkpoints. Although I do, I wouldn't expect checkpoints. If I'm being honest, I think it's fine not having them. This is suddenly difficult. <laughs> like, once you have the spinny cubes... It's like... Problem Town. We're going until we run out of time on the demo. By the way, it, we get 30 minutes of demo, which is like, perfect. We just run for exactly this long.
Ah! Okay, we can do this. There we go. There's some safe landings. Build up a little bit of time. I gotta wait for this to start spinning back the other way. Yeah, like this. And just not. <laughs> Let's not do that. That was a bad idea. Okay, but we can get through that first section without too much fuss. See, that's the problem. That one's spinning the opposite direction. So how do I handle that one? This is becoming like a puzzle precision platformer. That is made harder by the very limited air control. I just want air control. I jumped way too early off of that, that first big one. I'm also like, if I do you know, make it, whoop, I'm dead. If I do make it onto the second one, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> like we're just, we're in challenge town now. And then sometimes you just fall. I didn't expect this to get as, uh, as difficult as it is as fast as it did. If I'm being honest, this is a little surprising how uh, how tough it's being. It's the wrong time to do that. It's got to be like a different cycle point. That's like the right time to do it. I can get through all of that in like a really quick go. At least, I feel like I'm practiced on that. Ah, ah. Almost. Oh. I thought I was practiced. Past that part. This is just building up time charge, really. Ah, I didn't, I didn't loop backwards far enough. Mm, 
And it didn't take my jump. This is surprisingly difficult. Cancel level. Uh, danger square. Okay, this is some intelligent cube vibes. To be honest. I didn't die! Yay! I maybe should have. Game show. Um. I didn't realize that was going to be a problem. And I died. I over yellowed for sure. So these become dangerous after you run on them. Not a surprise. Oh, if I touch it again, it resets. Okay. There we go. It's all good now. <laughs> I just need to go retap it. Uh, so number seven, I don't think we're gonna get. <laughs> Binary ghost. Okay. And like we still have the uh the speed up from that previous level, like we carry our power-ups if we don't use them. It's a little surprising and I don't expect that to be intended. I also kind of feel like uh, trying to use that on the level we were having trouble with, not going to be recommended. Three cubes left. Oh, I see, they stop. Wow, ah, when you touch them. So those moving ones are... Uh, You know, requiring a little bit of strategy. There's honestly more to this than I initially expected. Like, I wasn't expecting much puzzling out of it. I was hopeful, but I wasn't expecting it. I would say we got it. I 
I just wish I had a little more air control. <laughs> like I've seen, I, I've seen what happens if you go in the opposite direction. Like Spiralagon was a little wild on that front. But I don't know, I just feel like I would appreciate a little more confidence in my maneuvers. Boop. World is lava. That looks like lava. What is a shop? Kind of forgot about that. Um, is everything sinking? Yes. Okay. Boing. Boing. Is the lava going to go down? Yes. Okay. We're screwed. Oh, saved it. And screwed again. Okay, we, you do get like a tiny bit of air control, and it's enough to like, stay on this pad. But man, it ain't much. Fell. Boing. I'm boinging over here now, I guess. Get that sector done. I don't remember what that power up is. I don't remember what like any of the power ups are, if I'm being honest. Guard. So I can I can just use that and not take time penalty okay there's the air control that I was looking for it doesn't feel like you have much when you jump but coming off those bounce pads felt a lot better One Brilliant. there we go we have completed the floor is lava. 
Nine. Open shop. I'm just gonna buy a jetpack for that level that I can't do. So this whole outer area is very much like, just touch once. Ah, it wasn't fast enough. Naturally, I need to leave at least one of them for, uh, for the return. Spent a lot of resources, but it worked. I probably didn't need to use as many guards as I did. We'll just jetpack our way to the, uh, the last bit, I guess. Or, or now. Now works too. I can't work out how I'm doing this last bit. Three cubes left. One cube left. There we go. <laughs> That's how we're doing it. Uh. So I guess that's the solution, is to get a jetpack from somewhere else and make it very easy. Roller Disco. Oop. I did a dead. I can't entirely work out what's happening on this level. Is that a jetpack? I think that's a jetpack in there. That's a jetpack. I can do this shuffle without <laughs> without having to go anywhere. One cube left. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hold on to that jetpack, but whatever. It's all good. Oh. Oh, that's a hole. That's a hole. I 
Ow. 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 No shooty. No shooty. I'm gonna go back into that with a guard. So I can get no shooty. <laughs> Just worry about where there are and aren't cubes. But you can kind of walk along the uh, the edge. It's pretty easy to tell. Three cubes left. Close enough. <laughs> Death race. I got up tempo. I'm just gonna hit it anyway. What are these things? They're they're coming to hurt me and like erase my progress. Like, I don't know how to handle them then. Can I just, like, trick them into falling? Is that... Is that the dream? Two. Okay, so that one, I think, is back. Back, but he's not like around. Three cubes left. Uh, this guy, though. This guy's like cute Benny Hill theme right now. Whoop. Alright, come after me, and then, like, fall to your death, please. Yeah, like, I'm not sure how to actually approach this level. like how they all behave and all that. Nope. Yeah, I don't know how to go about it. I can just be very fast. There we go, one of them fell. That's probably a good thing for me. Two, one. Now that one's probably respawned. But if I never go back to that platform, can't come and annoy me. Uh, but this guy exists. There we go. Three cubes left. One cube left. Perfect. I guess that's how you do that level. <laughs> Neon birds.
Yep, we just jetpack this. It's like I can't make heads or tails of what's happening. There we go. It, do, it does feel like weird. It, it feels a bit 90s and it does feel a bit game show. It's it's a very strange like atmosphere about it. I, I'm, I'm having like a strange kind of flash to Super Monkey Ball. Of all things. That, that just left me very dead. Uh, I may have been like waiting too much or something. I don't know. Ow. <laughs> just a lot of ow. Okay. I just, I can't be there, I guess. Like, I need jetpack and guard. Can I even have multiple power ups going at once? Oh, out of juice. There's no way. Oh, you can. Ha. And then I run into a laser, which is also deadly. So, you know, many ways to fail. Technically, the demo is over. It says zero seconds. Three cubes left. Okay, where is the moving cube? I have no jetpack. <sighs> All right, that's that's enough of that. <laughs> um, that was odd, but like a lot more interesting than I expected. Like to be perfectly honest, uh. It's it's it gets pretty difficult pretty quickly, for sure. Uh, I feel like you really do have to use the shop, and like come in, cause like that last level, if I came in with a guard, I I could have just like flown all around and been fine. But you gotta be uh, prepared. You gotta be equipped. But like overall, it was just a lot. It was a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, 
you know, considering like visually, it's not that interesting. Like the Tron aesthetic, it's hard to do and make visually compelling. Uh, so it kind of just felt there. Uh, but yeah, that was that was not that bad. Honestly. It's also not like a very strong description or comment. <laughs> uh, that, that is a good, a good point. Like, unless you can take the style and take a strong art direction with it, it does just feel programmery. But I mean, you're, the game is running around on cubes. Uh, the, the character felt a little like default. Uh, that that's one that the mechanics are pretty sound. I still wish there was more air control. Uh, if it had like so stronger art, I think it would have gathered a bit more attention. I think that is what ultimately is holding it back from like other people noticing it. 